The Korean superstar just jumped into the pool. The cleaner poured a bucket full of snakes into the water and was about to run away when he suddenly realized that there was still one left in the bucket. He was so scared that he looked at his bodyguard and realized that they were still chatting happily without noticing. So the man slowly approached the pool and released the last snake into the water. When the star swam towards the shore, he saw a viper rushing towards him at the speed of light and biting his body. Before he could catch his breath, all the snakes pounced on him and surrounded him. The man was so scared that he struggled desperately, but fortunately, he was able to swim to the shore with God's protection and time to give credit to the video. But as soon as he came up, the poison spread wildly in his body, and he fell into a coma in a short while. The bodyguard saw this and hurriedly called for an ambulance, not realizing that an ambulance had just arrived downstairs. A few bodyguards did not think too much and immediately put the star on a stretcher. Unbeknownst to them, these people are also here to take his life. They drew a tube of blood from the man and then immediately got up to take the star away. But before they could lift him up, the real ambulance arrived in the next second. The doctor was a bit confused and asked them which organization they were from. But the panic several people simply could not answer, see about to be exposed. So one of the companions immediately took out a dagger to stop the bodyguard in front of him to cover the other people to try to retreat quickly. Well, after a chaotic battle, the man was lucky to escape and in time to jump on the ambulance and companions to meet smoothly. When the star woke up, he found that the people who kidnapped him were actually a group of grandparents. And they only did this because the star publicly admitted a horrible truth. At a press conference not long ago, the handsome man openly admitted in a press conference that he was a murderer who raped and killed more than 20 women 15 years ago. And in order to prove his claim, he even showed his shoulder, which was shot when he escaped from the chase in the first place. The only reason he's so arrogant is because the prosecution period for Korean crimes is only 15 years. After that time, he's just an ordinary citizen. Not only that, he wrote a book about all his crimes and sold it publicly, and even came to the victim's home to apologize for the hype. But his sinister face still made the victim's family suffer a lot. And in order to create a topic, he also took the initiative to find the Sheriff John, who shot him and publicly provoked him. With this public relations operation, the former murderer has become an idol star with millions of fans. But what he did made the victim's family very angry, so they planned to take revenge together, decided to avenge the death of their sons and daughters. That's how the story began. After they kidnapped Jack, they decided to execute him on the spot. But before they could do it, there was a flash of darkness and the electric switch was broken. Then a figure appeared in the darkness, came up, untied Jack and rescued him right under their noses. A couple of days later, a program team invited John and Jack into the studio together in order to create excitement. And while they were on the line with an outside audience, a call came in from a man named Mike. He claimed he was the serial killer from 15 years ago and that Jack was just a piece of trash who was robbing his nose in it. The other side of the caller's words made the show's crew look puzzled, so they had to end the connection early. On the other hand, John immediately sent someone to lock the caller's IP address. He searched for the address and came to an empty room with a chair, a knife and a videotape. So John rushed to bring it home to check, accidentally found that the content of the videotape, actually his girlfriend, was raped and killed the whole process. Watching the shocking scenes, John was about to die of anger, but he still held back his anger and kept playing it, and finally he found a clue in it. Then he asked the program to arrange a national seminar and successfully contacted Mike. So the three of them Saturday down together soon after. The men all say that they are the murderers. Mike does not want to argue and directly let the show to give to the second scene. Only because in this place is buried the last girl he killed. Unsurprisingly, the police actually dug up the bones. With such hard evidence, Jack had no choice but to admit that he was not the real killer. And the plan to lure him out of his hole has also surfaced. It turns out that Jack was also a family member of one of the victims. Because of his sister's death, he decided to go easy on himself, but John saved him in time. So he had a facelift in his plan. As for the book that recorded the details of the crime, the real author is John. After that, the two of them cooperated in this big drama in order to make the real murderer show up voluntarily. But even though Mike was tricked into coming out, he didn't panic at all just because it's already passed the 15-year lawsuit period, and there's nothing anyone can do to him. However, at that moment, John took out the last piece of evidence. It turns out that the video Mike gave him had a radio in it, 
The election for the next mayor was underway, and the broadcast was still 10 minutes away from 15 years. In other words, Mike was still within the validity period of the lawsuit. When Mike heard this, he started to panic and fell down in front of him, begging for mercy. But John wouldn't give him a chance. But just as he fired, he was stopped by a colleague. The deflected bullet hit the lamp, and the surroundings were instantly plunged into darkness. Taking advantage of this gap, Mike jumped out of the window and ran for his life. Although he was eventually arrested by the police, the time has passed and he will be acquitted. Just when everyone was in despair, John took a pen and stepped him in the heart, sending this devil to hell. Thus, John was sentenced to eight years in prison for murder. This is the 2012 Korean thriller Confession of Murder. This is a movie based on a true incident. The murderer raped and killed more than 20 women but still escaped. In order to lure him out, the victim's family had plastic surgery and set up a trap to lure the murderer out so that he could be arrested. It was because of this case that the 15-year prosecution period in Korean law was completely abolished. This story tells us, don't give up, justice will never be late, and the bad guys will be brought to justice. I'm Bulldog Movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.